All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Significant title in combat sports, no argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. All right, we send it inside the octagon to the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC heavyweight championship the world introducing first fighting out of the blue corner this man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight he stands six feet six inches tall weighing in at 265 pounds fighting out of new delhi india presenting the challenger magic man and now introducing the champion fighting out of the red corner this man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 218 pounds. Fighting out of New York, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. Strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground. They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the finish takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Beautiful fight. Nice combination of strikes there in terms of the accuracy. I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus mitts, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as 
well use it. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now, because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Look at him put his hip into that kick. Powders once again, this time with the overhand right. And they separate. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. And he landed the right hand there. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Beautiful right punch follows it up with the left. Strong straight left there. Nice straight punch. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Vez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Oh, he heard a badly jab. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. with that straight left hand. All right, single collar tie now. Well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Whiffs on the right hand. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Hard shots landing on both sides here. He's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Final seconds here. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? I want to draw this action, but yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even, that's what we saw. 
Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, an educated jab there. I can watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. He comes through with a big knee. Do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Right hand punches the clinch. Just misses with the straight left hand. Lands the right hand. Beautiful kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Looking to land the right just out of range. Right hand upstairs! Just out of range with that right hook. Nice punch, man. Again, they will clinch. Already right, closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Right hook attempt, no good. Huge block there. Just out of range with that left hook. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Single collar tie there. Over and over, he landed this big body kick. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. And they separate. Good stick. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Great upper body movement defensively, slips another strike there, and offensively he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively he's been strong. Too. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away, but that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Another shot lands upstairs. Another punch to the head. Right punches there. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. A wild attempt with the right hand there. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high. Blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Just out of range with the straight left hand. That was a nice strike. And he continues to work the body here. And both guys really throwing with authority. Chris boxing here, the right punch followed immediately up by a left. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Good punch lands. Big body kick. Slips to avoid that left. And he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Looking to land the right hand in this. Now's the chance to block. 
All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining really? rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happens when you get very skilled, very evil match fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does not go into that. Cut them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Nice punch lands over the top. Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Lanza glancing right hand upstairs. Another shot to the head. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Plus right hand is true. Well, no surprises, he connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking, you can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much, he just keeps making his split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. And just inches of oh. just like that left hand. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt! Big punch land. And we got a fight on our hands. Good right here. And now he lands a combination. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Liver kick. Man, the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, see the power tie here. Some nice diversity in the attack. Huge elbow lands from the clinch. See on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. That was a perfect shot. Nice job to raise the guard and block another strike there. He doesn't want the ringside position anywhere near this octagon. He has to understand that at any moment, if this thing goes down into the eye, the referee and the commission will have to stop the fight. Great job being aware, keeping the hands up and blocking, making sure to minimize the damage to that already cut eye. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready in that. That is how you scramble, folks. Just misses with the jab. Beautiful strike. Nice one, two there. Oh! up again here, but hurting. Straight punch land. Changes his stance. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. 
Strong defense there to block the shot. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh, that right hand is on point. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, that's a nice inside leg kick right there. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. Let's see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Checks that leg kick. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Punch over the top. Huge damage from that elbow in the clinch. Back and forth we go. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. He does everything so well, and he's so close. Oh, oh he lands, he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to work very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike in the night. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Punch to the body is blocked. Oh, big left. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe. Oh! are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? No when to hold, no when to hold. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Switching stances here. Oh, oh. big push, man. Holy smokes, he put him to sleep. Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Oh, big left hook there. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh, straight right. Another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. We go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 55 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by...
retained as the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ. Uh, once again, proving he's the elite among the elite. In a division where everything can change in a second, this guy has brought consistency to something that is so volatile. What a champion, what a fighter he remains. 